So essentially what you want to do in EK, it's pretty simple. You have various tiers of gear. The highest tier is this one here. It's tier 9, right? It's the orange one. When you equip a orange gear to a character and you level up it, you level it up to level 5, it will be uh, maxed out and you will have the opportunity, which I can't do right now, I can't show you, but here, essentially, when you get this piece of gear to level 5, you will then have the opportunity to level it up to Overload. Overload is essentially tier 10, okay? So you get it to tier 9, then you once it is tier 9, you level it up normally, so like here it's level 3. Once I get this to level 5, I'll be able to upgrade it. And when you upgrade it, which is called Overload, you are going to need um, an amount of crystals that you can find by doing Interception in the Arc. It's over here, Interception. Depending on your results, you have more chance to get the crystals. Um, the crystals are called custom modules. And it is this thingy right there. Is it here? Where is it? Consume? It's not there. I don't see my... Uh... Oh, there it is. The custom module, right? So once you use the custom module, it's actually going to run some random stats that are possible onto your gear. So here, I basically got a tier 9 equipment to level 5, and I overloaded it by using a costume module. And now it is tier 10, aka overload. It's back to level 0, so you can level it up again at level 5. Uh, but most importantly, it has increased crit rate, and this is random. Now the thing that's important to know is that you can only do that with tier 9 items that are of the same um, the same manufacturer of the character, right? So for example, for a Pilgrim character, you're going to need a tier 9 item that is also Pilgrim and of the same class, obviously, otherwise you can't equip it. And then you can get those special stats. And there's a wide variety of stats that you can find. Um, probably a, a line here. Let me see. Nikkei. So I can show you everything. Overload gear, the various... Oh, it doesn't talk about it here. All right, let's go over here. So you can see guide, overload, overload. Um, and we're going to go here to understand how it functions. And there you go. So here you have all of the different stat increase you can get. So the attributes for the substat can be elemental damage dealt, hit rate, max ammo, increased attack, charge damage, charge speed, critical rate, critical damage, and increased defense, right? And then you can have, there's like a bracket from like the lowest value possible to the highest value possible. Essentially, depending on your Nikkei, you're going to want some kind of uh, specific stat. Some characters need more capacity in their ammunition, etc, etc. And so what you want to do is try to get the good substat for the character that you want to upgrade. Hey, thank you so much, Yupina. I really appreciate the raid. How was Nikkei? Did you enjoy it? I hope you had a great time. Welcome. So that's essentially how it works. 